in the lush kingdom of Ashanti, nestled in the heart of West Africa, Queen Nanaya ruled with wisdom and grace. Her people loved her dearly, and she was determined to protect them from the looming threats of the neighboring kingdom, Dahomey. For months, the Dahomey king, Agaja, had been making aggressive overtures, seeking to expand his dominion over the entire region. Nanaya knew that her kingdom was no match for the mighty Dahomey army, and so she sought the counsel of her trusted advisor. One of them, a wise old priest called Okunfo, revealed to her an ancient prophecy, the only way to save Ashanti from destruction was for the queen herself to offer her life as a sacrifice to the gods. Nanaya was horrified, but she knew that she couldn't ignore the warnings. She wrestled with the weight of the prophecy. Nanaya's thought turned to her people her family, and her beloved husband, the late King Osei. She remembered the happy times, the laughter and the joy they shared. The thought of leaving them behind was unbearable, but she knew that she had to put the needs of her kingdom first. With a heavy heart, Nanaya made the emotional decision to sacrifice herself. She called for Okonfo and instructed him to prepare the necessary rituals. The news spread like wildfire through the kingdom and the people were devastated. Appointed day. The kingdom gathered at the sacred shrine where Okonfo performed the ancient rituals. Nanaya, resplendent in her royal regalia, stood tall and proud, her eyes shining with tears. As the final moment approached, she looked out at her people, her gaze lingering on the faces she loved. With a quiet dignity, Nanaya lay down on the altar, and Okonfo performed the sacred sacrifice. The kingdom erupted in wails and lamentation, but Nanaya's spirit soared free, her soul ascending to the realms of the ancestors. In the days that followed, a strange and mysterious thing occurred. The Dahomey army, poised to strike, suddenly halted their advance. Agaja, the Dahomey king, received a mysterious vision, warning him away from Ashanti. The kingdom was spared, and Nanaya's sacrifice was hailed as a heroic act of selflessness. The people of Ashanti mourned their beloved queen, but they knew that her spirit lived on, watching over them from the afterlife. And so, they honored her memory telling stories of her bravery and wisdom for generations to come. In the heart of West Africa, where the drums beat and the rivers flow, Nanaya's legacy lived on, a shining example of a queen's ultimate sacrifice for her people and her kingdom. <laughs>